last set of questions here. Um, I'm going to begin answering them accordingly. I only got time for about eight or nine. Hopefully uh, that satisfies you. All right, here we go. First question. Katie from Chicago wants to know, who would win in a fight, the Trix Rabbit or Captain Crunch? I think that question, the answer is pretty obvious. Captain Crunch would win, basically, because he'd come in and cut the roof of your mouth up like you wouldn't believe. And Trix Rabbit is always running away anyway, so boom, there's your answer. All right. Second question, what's your favorite song to play live, Maria from Miami? My favorite song to play live would have to be Alive for the First Time, or actually, scratch that, my favorite song to play live is uh, Womanizer by Britney Spears. Let's face it, who doesn't like that song? All right, <laughs> third question, Suzanne from Baltimore would like to know, if you could trade places with anyone, who would it be? That's kind of a toughie. There's a lot of people in the world. But I think if I had to choose one person to trade places with, it would be Dane Cook. Because, dude, it's funny. He can do whatever he wants. And it's awesome. Moving on. <laughs> I like this one. Who would win in a slap fight, Dr. Phil or Oprah? That's from Casey in Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, Casey... Slap fight, I mean, those are pretty intense, so. I mean, Dr. Phil's pretty burly. It's like, Oprah would totally win. I mean, look at her. She's a beast, or was a beast, or is a beast. I don't know, I can't keep track anymore. Oprah, definitely. She's, she's gnarly. Next question, anonymous. This is an anonymous one from Pennsylvania. Anonymous girl from Pennsylvania. She says, Andy, I'm feeling disrespected by my dude because of things said on many social networks what should I do well anonymous girl from Pennsylvania if your dude is being disrespectful that is a deal breaker ladies lose the dude with the dude there you go take that to heart moving on Kristen from Illinois would like to know <laughs> if I kicked you would you punch me well, simply depends on where you kick me well, I mean, actually, I would never punch a girl. I mean, I'll shake the crap out of you, so there's your answer. I'll never punch you, but I'll shake the crap out of you. Moving on. Kaylee from Marysville, Washington would like to know, what is your favorite Seattle venue to go to to see shows and to play at? Well, I'm going to have to chop this one in half and say my favorite place to go to for shows would have to be the Showbox. As for my favorite venue to play, that would have to be El Corazon slash The Graceland. And that's the truth, America. That is the truth. Next question. <clears throat> Angela from Texas would like to know, if you weren't making music, what the hell would you guys be doing? Well, we all know that if Elon wasn't making music, he would be rapping. If Elon was doing anything, he'd be rapping all the time anyway, so that's not even a question. But me, if I wasn't making music, I would either be traveling the world like Anthony Bourdain, eating every weird piece of food I could get my hands on, or I'd be pursuing my lifelong dream as a professional skateboarder. As for the rest of the band, I think that Spencer would be pursuing his career in stand-up comedy. <laughs> This dude's hilarious. It's like, uh, Andrew would be, I think he might be a teacher of some kind. He's pretty wise. Wise guy. Wise guy. Oh, Nico. What would Nico be doing? Nico would most likely probably be some sort of street magician. Magic tricks. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Next question. <clears throat> Sam from Atlanta. What do you think of bands like Broken Side, Millionaires, and 303 taking over the music scene? Well, sir, or ma'am, I'm going to have to take a break and think about this question. It's pretty serious. So, um, I'll be right back.
took a lot of time to consider this question and think about how I would answer it correctly. And I found that the only way I can do this is if I simply sing it to you. So. I think music is music, no matter who makes it. And if a bunch of people like it, then more power to them. Should I? And there you have it. That's how I feel about bands like Broken Side, Millionaires, and 303. It's all music, no matter how you look at it, and it's how they express themselves and have fun, so why beat them down about it? Okay, moving on. Last question. Let's say BH1 offers you a reality dating TV show. What would you call it? Elizabeth from Pennsylvania. Well, Elizabeth. I would love to have my own reality dating TV show, so I've given that a lot of thought before. You know, if somebody gave me the chance to, the opportunity to do that, I would most definitely call it Walmart of Love, where I'd have 40 different Walmart employees battle for my heart, my love, whatever the hell that means. There you have it. There's about nine questions. Let's make sure I met my quota. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. 11 questions. Sorry, I couldn't answer them all. There was a lot. Um, we'll try to do this again next week. We'll have uh, some more fun together. Thank you to everyone who sent your questions in. This uh, made my day. We're in the studio recording new stuff and writing new stuff for all you kitties and guys and gals and ladies out there and gentlemen. Hopefully you're all doing well. We'll be back with you soon. If you have any questions, concerns, or just want to say hi, please feel free to hit up our Twitter or our MySpace, however the hell you want to do it. Yeah, love you all out there in TV land. Peace! Hello, my love. It's getting cold.